Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna share with you multiple craft projects. One of the projects will be changing the planner art in the front of my happy planner. I'm going to make a couple greeting cards um, and I'm going to make earrings. Sawarski crystal earrings. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. This is the, um, oh, that's so pretty. This is the jewelry. Um, this is my design board that I use to make necklaces and bracelets and earrings. It's just, it's just a jewelry design board. And as you can see, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. one pair of earrings these are jump rings and these are the fish hook uh, these are the fish hook earrings jump rings and fish hook earrings so jump rings I need two I got my earrings uh, I got the the um, pieces from Michaels. This was not a part of the Amazon haul that I will leave. Um, I will leave the Amazon haul in a link in the description box and I will also um, link it in the cards up above. These are simple earrings. I um, am getting ready to go on vacation and I just kind of wanted something that I can wear every day. And I don't have to worry about taking my favorite earrings and losing my favorite earrings. I can just make some earrings and uh, wear these every day. They go with everything. I don't have to worry, is it gold today? Is it rose gold today? Is it silver today? I don't have to worry about what colors I have on when it goes with everything. And these are the AB. It's the 22 millimeter crystal AB if I hadn't said that already and I probably didn't all right I wonder how well you can see it's not to jump ring in let me There's one. So I'll wear these on vacation and then I don't have to worry about what's matching what. I think that's so pretty. Take the jump ring. And this time I have to, I have to open it really wide because the top of the crystal is fat. Oh. 
bring the two pieces back together and that's why you want to pull them apart one to you know one to the front and one to the back never just open them like that because you can never get it back together again trust me folks I've tried it anybody who's ever made jewelry they'll tell you after that you just can't get it to fit anymore Okay, guys and just like that I've got everyday earrings to wear on my trip to Paris and I want to take and put some earring backs on them I printed these out. I created these from Google and I um and then I printed them out. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Okay. I printed two on a sheet because I'm going to use the um And then I'll laminate them. But I wanted it to be double. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's it's cardstock, but I still wanted it to be as thick as I can get it. So that looks like. Oh, I know what I can do. How about that? Okay. So, then I will That way I can make sure that it's doubled up right from the beginning. And I probably should have done the same here. Probably should have.
Okay. That's it. That's ready to be laminated. Um, I created it myself. It says she believed she could, so she did. And then I put a picture of the Eiffel Tower. And that's a sunshine. And then that's her little Shisu that looks exactly like my little, my little major. And that's a young lady with a camera and a Chanel bag. Walking in Paris. Like I will be in a few weeks. Okay, and then I will take... I do want to leave somewhat of a border, not a big border, but a small border around the perimeter. And this one says, let's put it down for you guys, huh? But it will be right side up when I turn it around. And this one says, loved. I just thought that was beautiful. Shows uh, a lady a, a lady on her laptop, on her cell phone with a cup of tea, her glasses, her Bible, her planner, sitting on the floor in her bedroom. I, it reminded me of myself. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that works for me. this out of the way and you get your laminating sheet I'm gonna laminate these at the same time and then I'll cut them so these are my laminating sheets and my laminating sheets are the two and a half by three and a half pouches because I don't have a laminating machine but these things work great I don't laminate a lot uh, but every now and then I do need to laminate something and these are perfect for that good there we go perfect and this one I'll have to neaten up just a little bit okay and then I will take my corner rounder I think I'm gonna use this four millimeter I think that is perfect. And then this will go right up in the front with the rest of my. And I will round the corners as well. Then I'll put these in a minute. I mean, that's so cute. 
I don't know if I'm gonna use them both, but I'm certainly gonna use the Ten Commandment cards. I wanted to do the same thing with these. I want to double up the cardstock because one and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the card I'm gonna to have to cut the card to, to fit it but I think that's gonna be really pretty I like it gonna work. I'm gonna move this out of the way. It just takes some of the white and some of the newness off that edge and seeing how these are supposed to be stone. That seems to be working out relatively well. I should be working on a piece of paper because you know, uh, 
I find that I make less of a mess. Or when I make a mess on a piece of paper, it's not a permanent mess. There's more than one green, isn't there? That was another, maybe that's just blue. But I have a feeling it's gonna be this one. That's nice, a hound's tooth. I like, I think I like the geometric shape on this one is what's pulling me. I prefer the color of the hounds too, but I'm feeling the geometric of the, that's pretty. I like the color. Ooh, okay. I've I think I'm gonna go with the hounds too. All right. Take and we'll cut this in half for each side. That's really good. That's good. This one here. All right, let's see what I got here. Perfect. Alrighty. These scraps I will keep. Some scraps I keep, some scraps I don't. Sometimes things like this size, that's just, I don't know. 
I guess you can always find a use for it, but I'm okay with throwing that away. Now the trick is to make sure that the print is going in the same direction. You don't want your print going in the same different directions. Of course, with the way that it's cut, it can't help but go in one direction, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Now, so, I'm going to take this. And the only reason I'm using this tape is that I'm just trying to use it up. I've had it um, in my stash for a minute and I want to get rid of it. So, I figured I'd take advantage of this opportunity to do just that. Why not? Take this, set it right in the center. Okay, it's going to sit like that, but I don't want it to close all the way. I want it to be something like that. That's going to be somewhat how it is. Um, I had such a hard time with my glue. Last time I Woo. 
No, nope, didn't get myself. Thank goodness. Okay. Gorgeous. Look at that. And just like that. My Ten Commandments. Mm. Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna keep it so that when it when it's attached, that it can actually stay about right there. I don't mind you opening it. I don't mind you. That's pretty good. I wonder if it has some magnets. That would be a great idea. To take that, put my magnets on there, and then I can put it on the refrigerator. That's gorgeous. Okay. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below, along with that notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I upload new videos every week. Again, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you come back and tune in next week. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!